Hey, hope you're well. Cutting up some full sheets today. This will be fun. I swear this stuff's getting heavier, or I'm getting older. easier to handle in small sizes. Um, so I'm taking a look in this one at the new range of loose tenons from Trend and I'll be doing that whilst putting together a small cabinet for a forthcoming project and I'll be using the 10 minute workshop loose tenon jig. By the way if you want to try out those Trend loose tenons for yourself there'll be a discount code available. I'll give those details a little bit later but for now I need to get on with this cutting. So I can't tell you how many loose tenons, dominoes I've used since I bought my first gen Festool domino back in 2007, 2008, thousands certainly and in all sizes over 15 years or so of professional cabinet making but I can tell you that they were all dominoes made by Festool uh, apart from I think four that were shop made to fit the wider slots in a tricky door that I put together once. Despite what you might think, this isn't because I'm some kind of Festool fanatic. It's just that there were no alternatives to the Festool OEM parts, which kind of blows your mind when you think about it, that Festool had the consumables market sewn up for that long, but they did. More recently, there's been a few more cheap and cheerful and some not so cheap options appear from all the usual sources, all the usual suspects. But if you care about, say, FSC certification, and I'd suggest as woodworkers, we probably should. FSC is the Forest Stewardship Council, the body that looks after the wood we get to use to make stuff with. If you care about all that stuff and you start looking a little more closely, then you may find that the details on some of those alternative products can be a little sketchy. Now, you probably don't need me to tell you that First Lord's Domino is a professional grade power tool, but alternatives like the 10 minute workshop loose tenon jig, for example, have helped bring loose tenon cabinetry to arguably a wider audience who appreciate how it can make them more productive, especially if they have limited workshop time to make things. Festool's Domino, the consumable, not the power tool, have always been pretty reasonably priced, more costly than dowels, yes, but a lot less than, for example, uh, Lamello's Tenso. But they've always come in surprisingly large quantities, 
you need a few 5 by 30 mil dominoes for a cabinet project. Well, you'll be in for a pack of 300 at a minimum. And if you need a few other sizes too, then costs and quantities can really start to stack up. The Trendly tenons, on the other hand, made in beach to Trends exacting standards and fully FSC certified, of course. Trends, these tenons come in the full range of sizes you've come to expect from a loose tenon, more on that in a sec, but are packaged in much more consumer friendly quantities with the smaller sizes 4x20, 5x30, 8x40, and so on, coming in packs of 100, and the larger sizes 8x50 and 10x50 coming in packs of 50. This means that you can spread your consumables budget around a little more easily, keeping a range of sizes on hand without burying yourself in stock or bankrupting yourself in the process. <laughs> so there you go. I glued that up completely the wrong way around. Um, you can tell it's been a while, but that's looking pretty good. I've got a square enough clamping guide, assembly guide on the corner there just to keep it together while the glue goes off. There's a few of those available in the store, by the way, along with the 10 minute workshop loose tenon jig, uh, but that's all clamped up nice and square yeah, while the glue sets. So I mentioned the tenon sizes before, but I did actually miss one out. Um, and I've been using them on this particular cabinet, and it's one that's unique to trend. That's a 6 by 30 millimeter. This is the perfect size for 18 millimeter sheet materials. One third of the material thickness, like a traditional mortise and tenon. And with a 15 mil plunge on both sides, there's no chance of you blowing through the face of the cabinet after a bit of brain fade. The lack of a 6x30 domino from Festool is as baffling to me as the lack of an 18mm preset on the domino fence, but at least that hole in the lineup can now be filled. Uh, the trend loose tendons are nice to use with a full length groove that holds plenty of glue, making sure that the joint holds strong and true. So that's the whistle stop tour of Trend's new loose tenons. The full range is available now from Trend UK and starts at under four pounds for the smallest four by 20 size, topping out at well under seven quid for the largest 10 by 50, which is great value. And you make that even better value with a whopping 10% discount until the end of October using the offer code 10 minute workshop at checkout. There are links in the description and I'd like to thank Trend UK for extending that offer to all viewers. But yeah, whether you want to try some different loose tenons or you just need some smaller packs of different sizes, then now's a great time to stock up. But I'll call this one done for this week. Thanks ever so much for taking a look. I'll catch you again very soon. All right, take care.